O come, O come, thou Lord of might, who to thy tribes on Sinai's high in ancient times didst give the law, in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pause to ask God's mercy. In your clemency, hear and answer us, Lord, who call out to you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through your only begotten Son have made us a new creation, look kindly, we pray, on the handiwork of your mercy, and at your Son's coming, <clears throat> cleanse us from every stain of the old way of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, <clears throat> your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. <clears throat> Thus says the Lord, Woe to the city, rebellious and polluted, to the tyrannical city. She hears no voice, accepts no correction. In the Lord she has not trusted. To her God, she has not drawn near. For then I will change and purify the lips of the people, that they all may call upon the name of the Lord, to serve him with one accord, from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, and as far as the recesses of the north, they shall bring me offerings. On that day, you need not be ashamed of all your deeds, your rebellious actions against me. Then will I remove from your midst the proud braggart, and you shall no longer exalt yourself on my holy mountain. But I will leave as a remnant in your midst a people humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The Lord will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard. And from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them. And from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord, the Lord hears the cry of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. 
he came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. And the son said in reply, I will not. But afterwards he changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did the father's will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The, uh, the story that Jesus tells of the two sons, the one who does the Father's will and the one who fails to do the Father's will, um, is particularly striking because we know that very often the one who says yes but doesn't follow through causes less ajita than the one who says no, we're not going to do it, but then goes and does it. It's a, a conundrum in so many ways, and yet it is so true that really it is our actions that express what our response is. If our response is yes or no, depends on how we follow through. And following through is what the Lord asks of all of those who follow him, that we follow through with the commitment we have made that we follow through with action in how we live. So we ask the Lord to help us during these final days of Advent to make our promise to always follow through. Let us stand to pray. With faith that God desires only our good we come to him with our prayers and petitions. For our Holy Father, bishops, and all who exercise authority in the church, may the Holy Spirit draw them ever closer to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For governments and world leaders, may the Advent message of hope inform and direct their decisions and actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Our prayer. For all who live with conflict in their lives, may God, the source of true peace and justice, conform their hearts to walk in his light. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For this faith community, as we journey through Advent, may it be a time of renewal and blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, marked with the sign of faith, May they enter into eternal life with the God who created them. Most especially, we remember today Francis Jude Smith at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord For whom else shall we pray? For Charles Stafford and Jules and Terry Moss, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. All of those who are recovering from illness and from surgeries, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. <clears throat> Gracious and loving God, there is nothing more powerful than your grace and mercy. Hear our prayers and grant them, we ask, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless Bless God. God.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed, Blessed be God. God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, Grant us through your grace a rescue and eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> yep, forgive me, my eyes are not being clear. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when at last he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of the Nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy, especially Francis Jude, being remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence, we pray now in the words our Savior taught. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. <clears throat> Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. Christ, the body and blood of Christ, Amen. the body of Christ, Amen. the body of Christ, Amen. the body and blood of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. We'll sing the fourth verse of our hymn. <clears throat> oh, come thou rod of Jesse's stem, from every foe deliver them, that trust thy mighty power to save. And give them victory o'er the grave. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Have a good day, all. You too, Father.